Yes. Uh, thank you, Joas. Uh, maayong hapon sa tanang uh, participants this afternoon. Uh, there are still a lot of participants, uh, Joas, no? I can see 387, 388, and continuing. So I'd like to welcome all of you uh, for uh, continually participating in this conversation. As uh, expressed uh, by our host, we need your inputs also for us to be able to charter the, the course of uh, the sports program that we want to implement nationwide. So thank you for your support. Uh, we really need them. Uh, we have to move forward, no? build on the successes uh, that we were able to get, uh, especially uh, in the last uh, Tokyo. All of us are happy and proud uh, to be uh, part of history uh, that uh, finally, after 97 years, we were able to that coveted gold and uh, two, three more uh, medals, two silver and one more bronze. No? And uh, I'm pretty sure uh, with all the conferences that we did, the planning and all, uh, we will only continue to be successful in the coming years, uh, uh, in the coming years, especially in the international competition. But uh, more importantly, uh, these conversations really uh, will help us uh, uh, plan our grassroots programs also. No? Because through the grassroots programs, uh, we can uh, identify and develop our youngsters that we can feed to the NSAs to be part of the elite, elite program of the NSAs. No? So that's why this is really very important that uh, we chart a grassroots program uh, in the joining us again this afternoon. Uh, we hope to see you uh, uh, in the coming days as we uh, conclude uh, this uh, conversation. So maayong hapon, daghang salamat kaninyong tanan. Maraming salamat po, uh, PSC Commissioner Ramon Fernandez. And uh, thank you for your presence no, all throughout. I think, of, uh, I think from our from very batch one to six, same po with the support of our uh, their commissioners. Maraming salamat ko. And as mentioned, to the, uh, today's session po, ano, as it includes is one of the many lectures that we had for the first phase of the summit. And as said earlier sa ating video, uh, the sports conversations would be presided over by recognized figures from the local to the international sports scene to deliver short lectures in the online conference <clears throat> format. And syempre afterwards, you know, uh, an open forum uh, are facilitated to gather your insights and views as synthesis for every session. Ang ating pong topic for uh, this session is a very, very interesting one. And uh, syempre it, uh, it delves on the Philippine Sports Commission and, and how it has been a vital tool for the development of sports in the country. Since its creation through RA 6847 or the Philippine Sports Commission Act, it continued to grow and help to produce world-class athletes and Shempre our grassroots program and by providing needed assistance, coordination, allowances, and facilities. And the PSC has upheld its duty to the amateur sports community. Uh, ngayong hapon po na ito, we would also delve into what the PSC has offered in uh, different programs and that it, has, that it has established for its members and stakeholders. And, syempre, and, uh, and how it also helped nominate sports professionals in important positions in order to help produce stronger teams. And uh, syempre, uh, with the successful campaign of Team Philippines with the recently concluded uh, 2020 Tokyo Olympics, syempre, uh, the PSC has proven its value. And not only that, but also more importantly through its grassroots sports program. And malalaman po natin yan, ano, more on that. Uh, syempre, and uh, our lecture for today will be led by a very, very special guest speaker as well. And uh, allow me to introduce to you ang ating pong resource speaker. He started his career in, 2000, in sports in 2002 and had managerial experience in 2004 
when he was tasked to head the strength and conditioning unit of the Philippine Center for Sports Medicine of the PSC. Since early 2018, he was given the opportunity to enhance his craft when Hong Kong Sports Institute, a world-class sports institute, hired him as a strength and conditioning co- coach. Ang ating pong speaker for our final session worked over five years as the National Training Director of the Philippine Sports Institute, the dynamic arm of the Philippine Sports Commission in Sports Science and High Performance Training, at the same time functioning as the Chief of Staff of the Chairman of the Philippine Sports Commission. Kilala niyo po ang ating uh, guest speaker for this afternoon, but allow me, let us all welcome ang ating pong guest speaker, Mr. Mark Edward Velasco. Sir, magandang hapon po. Good afternoon. Thank you, Jawash, for that introduction. And uh, I would also like to thank uh, Commissioner Ramon Fernandez, who's an icon in Philippine sports and uh, serving uh, dito po sa Philippine sports for the last, uh, no, how many years na, uh, even after his uh, retirement and more so nung naging commissioner po siya dito sa Philippine Sports Commission. Maraming salamat po. Um, and to the Board of Commissioners led by Chairman Ramirez. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat at uh, pinag uh, po ako ng paumahin kung medyo paus po tayo kasi kagaya ninyo napasigaw rin po ako doon sa uh, pagkapanalo po ng ating mga atleta sa Tokyo. So, uh, no, this topic is, is uh, I, I think, uh, I think it's just very short and and throughout the the course of the National Sports Summit you might also have an idea kung saan ba talaga pumepwesto yung Philippine Sports Commission sa sa environment ng ng Philippine sports. So uh can we have uh the uh, slide please? Binabati ko po yung mga kaibigan ko at mga I, I see a lot of familiar faces. And familiar names, so I won't mention them kasi baka magalit po sila sa akin bakit hindi ko sila tinawag. So, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. So, the PSE and the Philippine Sports Commission. So, uh, actually, uh, the definition of PSE uh, is uh, this was created in Republic Act uh, 6847 in 1990 with its main purpose as the sole policy-making and coordinating body of all amateur sports and development programs in the country. Pero alam niyo po ba doon sa, sa Article 14, Section 19 ng Philippines, Philippine Constitution, protectado po yung sports at uh, sinasabi po doon that uh, the state shall promote physical education and encourage sports programs, league competitions, and amateur sports. At uh, including training for international competitions to foster self-discipline teamwork and excellence. So, ang Philippine Sports Commission, the Republic Act 8847, is actually just uh, the yung anak lang po yan, ng Article 14, Section 19 ng ating Philippine Constitution. The Philippine Sports Commission po is under the office of the president. So under po siya ng OP. It's not a department uh, at the moment, but um, PSC bilang commission is actually as a small agency under the office of the president, pero it plays a vital role in nation building. So next slide, please. So ang Philippine Sports Commission have one of these uh, core main concern. First is to provide leadership, formulate policies, and set priorities and direction of all national amateur sports promotion and development. Yan po yung functional mandate ng Philippine Sports Commission. Um, siya po, kami po, uh, bilang mandato po namin ay magpo-provide po ng leadership. So, uh, kung nakikita nyo po, uh, ang leadership doesn't have to be at the forefront. Uh, what you can see, what you can read, and what you can hear. Uh, the PSC po uh, has quietly and effectively through the years uh, performed its mandate 
uh, we are just uh, task and we are just uh, performing our duties po. Uh, lahat ng po to ng uh, even yung success natin sa Tokyo, uh, hindi po uh, yan magiging successful ko hindi po uh, magpa-participate ang Philippine Sports Commission together with the Philippine Olympic Committee. Second uh, core area po ang concern of the Philippine Sports Commission is to encourage wide participation in all sectors of amateur sports promotion. So this includes grassroots and yung sports for all programs natin. Third is to confer, extend, and grant support or assistance to national sports association. So this is the high-level sports or what I would call a high-performance sports. Dito po kami po mapasok, uh, half of the resources of the Philippine Sports Commission is on the grassroots and sports for all level. The other half po is yung high-level sports or your high-performance sports through extending and granting support or assistance po sa National Sports Association. Ano po yung National Sports Association? Yan po yung mga ABAP, yung Amateur Boxing Association of the Philippines, yung SBP, sa mga basketballista ng Pilipinas. So those are some examples of the National Sports Association. So the commission has a vision. Ito po yung unified sports program that will enhance the quality of life of the Filipinos and instill national pride and attain international prestige to excellence in sports. Um, there, you know, based on, on our on the experience, uh, there's this study was, I think, in uh, 2016, uh, I think a university in uh, Baguio, I'm not sure, but I have to go back. It says that one of the main uh, one of the main factor of national pride uh, among youth ha, among youth ang number one po nakalagay doon is yung sports achievement pangalawa po yung cultural or yung international uh, achievement ng ating uh, sining or your art, culture and arts so yun po yung isang ginagawa ng Philippine Sports Commission for us to really have this national pride to sports. So, uh, ang nakaganda po niyan, um, you know, the, the Filipinos are very, very supportive of our, uh, you know, na, uh, international endeavors at nagpapasalamat po kami sa suporta na binigay po ng ating mga kababayan. So, next is the mission is to uh, serve as a prime catalyst and advocate for the propagation and development of Philippine sports by helping shape policies, setting priorities through the following. So how do we achieve this? We coordinate and implement a national sports program. That national sports, sports, sports program is, uh, will be crafted uh, will be put into place. And nakaganda po, we have this National Sports Summit. This National Sports Summit, yung, yung result nitong National Sports Summit po na, natin would, uh, would influence yung National Sports Program. So yung feedback ninyo, lahat kayong nakikinig ngayon, you will be part of shaping our National Sports Policy. Next is to create equitable opportunity for participation in sports by all sectors. So this be uh, 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 barangay level, grassroots level, uh, elementary level, tertiary level. So lahat po yan ay bibigyan po natin uh, ng equitable opportunity. Obviously, uh, Yan din po yung isang limiting factor natin as a government agency, as a commission. Kasi maliit lang po yung ahensya namin. Uh, of course, we, as a, a small agency, we don't have that much uh, resources po para po mabigay natin lahat. But the PSC uh, through the years have uh, pretty much, you know, went through different... Uh, 
sectors and uh, involved po natin sila. May it be an IP, may it be the persons with disability, women in sports, lahat po yan uh, are being, at the moment, being reached out and provides opportunity for those sectors po. Third is providing assistance to stakes, stakeholders and partners. Kagaya po ng Philippine Olympic Committee, NSAs, may it be collegiate sports, uh, sometimes we do assist uh, professional sports uh, and uh, more so uh, with our athletes and coaches. Supporting the especially talented athletes for high-level competitions. Ito po yung mga national team members natin. And I do like to emphasize yung especially talented athletes. Uh, alam po natin lahat na hindi naman po lahat pwede maging national team members. And we do, uh, you know, 50% of our resources really is put into this uh, support. And uh, fifth is the promoting the development of physical qualities and moral values, which is the basis of sports. I, I remember that uh, when we have the, uh, the uh, UNESCO conference, uh, Ang Philippine Sports Commission po ni recognized na UNESCO. I was, we were in, actually, I was with Commissioner Mon Fernandez when we were in Russia. And my special mention po ang Philippines doon. Kasi Philippines was one of the first, if not the first country to have a developed program for, para po magabit para po sa peace and development. Kasi nakikita po natin, especially with this current set of Board of Commissioners, that they are really using sports to reach out in um, sectors of society na not regularly na re reach out. I mean, uh, I remember in 2016, Chairman Ramirez, uh, I think, went to uh, uh, MILF camp or MNLF camp, MILF camp and uh, sat there and uh, discussed sports program po sa sa ating mga kapatid na mga Muslim po. So th those things kasi plays a vital role in development of a certain locality. Kasi lahat naman tayo, as we all know, sports is, is a neutral uh, tool. Hindi naman po lahat na pwedeng i-accept ng isang community. But when it comes to sport, very open po. So lahat po tayo, uh, the Philippines was a uh, special mention po doon sa uh, 2017 uh, UNESCO conference po. So objectives in view of the foregoing uh, guiding principles, visions, mission statement. Uh, babasahin ko na lang po. The PSC will pursue two basic objectives. Increase particip participation in sports by Filipinos and excellence in sports performance by Filipinos. I think, uh, you know, I, I don't have to really emphasize on this Yung excellence in sports, uh, I think we are starting to achieve. I'm not saying we have achieved it kasi marami pa tayong pwedeng naibigay. I think uh, this is a breakthrough for Philippine sports that uh, we are in the map of sports performances at sa, 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 sa highest uh, sporting event sa ating bansa. Our legal mandate, of course, we are, we are again the sole policy making and coordinating body of all amateur sports development programs and institution in the Philippines. Hindi po namin inimbento diyan. Yan po yung part po ng batas ng RA 6847. To provide again leadership, emphasize po namin yan, formulate policies, set priorities and direction of all national sports promotion and development particularly giving emphasis on grassroots participation. So, uh, ito po, uh, I just want to clarify, kasi sometimes na interchange po yung PSC sa POC, uh, sa NSA. Ang, on to your left, yung blue po, uh, yan, po yung bound, yan po yung goals ng PSC. The PSC reports to the President of the Philippines. And we are guided by the 1987 Constitution and Republic Act 6847, known as the PSC Law. And we are the recognized authority on amateur sports in the country. Kung sa ibang bansa po, 
tayo po ang tinuturing na sports ministry. So, but sa Philippines po, tayo ay isang commission under the office of the president. Sa POC naman, sila po yung they report, yung yellow yung nasa middle po, they report to the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, which is a very big private body for sports. And they are guided by their Olympic Charter. And they are recognized body in activities relating to events in Olympic cycles. Uh, sila po yung uh, may authority during Asian Games, Olympics, and SEA Games. So, ina-emphasize po namin that the lead, sila po yung lead pagdating sa mga events na yon, PSC po yung sumusuporta. Now, for our different NSAs, the different NSAs reports to their international federation. Now, kung sa SBP po or sa Mahang Basketball Lista, sila po nagre-report sa FIBA, sa International Basketball Federation. Kung sa swimming po, sila po nagre-report sa FINA. So, doon po sila nagre-report. Hindi po sila nagre-report sa IOC. Yung IOC po, yun yung, yung uh, umbrella organization ng different IF. So, they're also guided by, by their own constitution and bylaws. And they are the recognized authority on technical matters of their sports. Nakalagay po yan sa batas sa RA 6847, sa section 13, sinasabi that NSA have the authority on technical matters of a specific sport. So sila po yung naglilid. Sila po yung uh, nagde-decide kung ano po mangyayari sa isang sport. Sila po yung nagde-decide kung sino po yung atleta ang magiging part ng national team. It's not the Philippine Sports Commission. Uh, it's not even the, the PSC. So it's the NSA. So they, they endorse it to the PSC na mabigyan po ng privilege. Ang part of the privilege, makikita po natin mamaya, madidiscuss po natin mamaya uh, in the next slide. So yung NSA po, sila nagde-decide ng program, ng atleta. Sila po nagde-decide kung anong support ay bibigay sa atleta. So sasabihin po nila, PSC, uh, si athlete A, ito po yung maibibigay natin, ito po yung kailangan niya. Si athlete B, ito po yung kailangan niya. So those are the differentiating uh, functions and uh, you know uh, mandate ng different organization. Sa tatlong ito, ang PSE po, it's the PSE po yung government body. Yung Philippine Olympic Committee and the na different national sports association sila po ay private organization. They are guided po ng under yung how they run their organization sa SEC Securities and Exchange Commission. They have to be they are they are registered uh, private organization. Okay, so ito yung uh, this is a simpler uh, pyramidal structure ng sports uh, structure no. Uh, this is universally accepted even in other other countries they use their definition this definition. So sa grassroots sports which is uh, at the lower rung of the pyramid and uh, the most widest scope uh, PSC comes into play po in kagaya na po ng mandate ng mass participation in physical uh, in sports. So PSC plays a vital role in the grassroots sports and even up to the college collegiate sports. Uh, pagdating naman sa collegiate sports, of course, my partner tayo dyan, which is the Commission on Higher Education. And definitely kasi yung collegiate sports is considered as a school activity. And of course, kailangan mag-partner po yung Philippine Sports Commission with the Commission on Higher Education. But uh, the good thing is sa Philippines po natin, our collegiate sports are pretty much uh, have very strong sports structure. Uh, ibig sabihin that uh, they can run their programs among themselves through their different uh, university or college associations. We have UAAP, uh, CESAFI, uh, NCA, NCRA, those uh, ESQA, those uh, different uh, college sports association pretty much have uh, 
to their own uh, guidelines and uh, pretty much they can run their own program. So once again, the PSC comes into assistance together with the Commission on Higher Education. Pagdating naman po sa elite sports, as I like to tell you, 50% of our resources are devoted in providing support po sa elite sports. So elite sports are obviously national team members po natin. They're part of the national training pool as well po yung mga, uh, mga coaches po natin. So uh, doon po naging involved yung PSC together with the Philippine Olympic Committee and most especially with the different national sports association. There are also some other groups who promote sports. Uh, sometimes, uh, depending po sa board, they, they, the board supports po uh, different sports organizations. Okay, so this is just the structure of our board. So the Board of Commissioners, these are the policy-making uh, branch po ng PSC. Pagdating po sa kay the office of the chairman down to the executive director, this is po yung line function. And basically, the Philippine Sports Commission is divided into two bureaus, the Bureau for Admin Finance and Management and the Bureau of Coordinating Secretariat and Support Services. So this is actually pretty self-exploratory. I know a lot of our participants here are um, public uh, school teachers or even involved sa government. So medyo naintindihan niyo po yan. So pali, ano po yung policy direction ng PSC? Uh, anim po yon. Ito po yung mga policy direction natin. Number one, yung sports governance. Uh, we To enhance the capability and accountability of PSE to lead. Once again, this is embedded in the 6847, manage, implement, and assess sports programs of, in the country. So number two, sports awareness. Enhance sports awareness among Filipinos on the role of sports as a vehicle for personal and community development. Sports accessibility makes sports accessible to a greater number of Filipinos through grassroots sports program that generates healthy lifestyle and global competitive athletes. Uh, park muna tayo sa sports accessibility. Alam po namin, once again, we're not making excuses on this. Uh, Philippine Sports Commission, again, is a small agency. And we need po partnership with our local governments. Uh, one example is that we have a tremendous partnership with uh, uh, the Ilocos region, both uh, Ilocos Norte and Ilocos Sur. Uh, there's may sari sarili po silang sports program. What the PSC does is they come in and provide assistance. So with that, uh, the PSC cannot do it alone. The local government, again, uh, would want to enhance their program because PSC nga is the, the leader in sports policies. So we work together with them. And nagpapasalamat ako sa ating mga regional coordinators around the Philippines for really uh, getting in touch with our uh, local government. So yun, one example po yan yung Ilocos region natin. Uh, malaki po yung partnership natin doon because part willing participant po yung local government. The same thing with our our local governments in Visayas uh, do think po that our, the board of commissioners is composed of uh, you know uh, you know uh, sportsmen from different parts of the country so obviously we have commissioner Mon Fernandez who's very much involved in the Visayas region so uh, yun lang yun po yung isang factor that we we reach out through uh our local governments kasi uh, kailangan na kailangan po natin sila uh, to make this happen in sports accessibility. Okay, sports facilities development to improve present sports facilities and to erect new facilities at par with global standards. Just to give uh, you know, a glimpse of this, uh, obviously we have one of the oldest sports complex in the region and a good thing that we have a partner in Pagcor to provide us with the resources to refurbish uh, yung pong Rizal Memorial Sports Coliseum, Inoy Aquino Stadium, 
at saka yung uh, Phil Sports Arena which is formerly the the Ultra po uh, if not with our partner with not uh, with our uh, with the help of Pagcor hindi po natin magagawa newly refurbished po siya uh, air condition uh, for for Rizal Memorial Sports Coliseum it was restored and retrofitted for modern use and not only po yung sports ang pwedeng gumamit noon right now uh, ginagamit po yung big facilities namin for covid center so hindi lang po kami involved sa sports we actually is very much involved even right now sa uh, contribution namin to um, helping us fight yung covid-19 so uh, isa rin po yung contribution ng Philippine Sports Commission sa national program and sport linkages of course strength and local and international linkages in sport this is very important po once again we cannot be successful without our partners both locally and internationally and yung last po is the in institutionalization of the Philippine Sports Institute uh, this is the country's premier training educational and research center that shall principally be direct um, involved in development of grassroots and high performance sports and professional development of sports practitioner just a background po yung philippine sports institute is not really a new concept this was uh, introduced by the time po ni, ni president ramos through uh, i think chairman popoy wiko uh, first iteration po niya is the philippine national institute of sports uh, at sa kasamaang palad, when the new uh, admin came in, naputol po yung program na yun. And then uh, fast forward to 2008, I think 2007, uh, then first stint ni Chairman Ramirez as a chairman, he started the Philippine Institute of Sports naman, PIS yon. So that was run for a period and it was it was uh, main purpose niyan was to really provide yung education program for our coaches so i think they partnered with the uh, with the university to provide education sa ating athletes and coaches and then obviously nag change in administration di po na pagpatuloy and when chairman ramirez came back together with the new board uh, they went all out in establishing the philippine sports institute or the PSI. So the, the PSI at the moment is a, a program of the Philippine Sports Commission. And uh, still we are still developing and still we are we are adding to the framework of the Philippine Sports Institute. So patuloy po yan, yung anim na, anim na program yan ng, ng Philippine Sports Commission. So ano po yung mga PSC programs? So we have grassroots programs. Uh, we have obviously uh, reaching out to different sectors. We have the Pilipinas Para Games, uh, obviously yung Sports for Peace Children's Games, which was the flagship, uh, one of the flagship uh, sports program ng current board, and that was I think the the what the UNESCO people uh, looked at, and uh, they really was. We were really, we are really proud of this program because uh, we targeted yung, yung any child po in a community and uh, to think po that uh, uh, we just let the, the children play, especially yung po yung mga traditional games ng, ng, uh, ng Pinoy po. So it, it, this is really uh, fostering uh, uh, development and we teach kids uh, how to become better individuals as they grow old. Nakakatuwa po because since this is involves younger children, nandun po yung mga magulang nila at the same time natututo po yung magulang nila sa values development. Obviously, we have the women in sports uh, which is uh, uh, one of the, the, the programs that is even up to this time uh, sa panahon ng pandemic is continuing po siya. Uh, Philippine Sports Institute, uh, Indigenous People's Games, uh, obviously uh, well, that's one sector of the society that uh, PSC is, is working with. Uh, yung Larot Saya sa Parke program. 
uh, Batang Pinoy and Philippine National Games. I, I want to highlight yung Batang Pinoy and Philippine, Philippine National Games kasi out of the four medalists po natin, uh, tatlo po doon ay product ng Batang Pinoy. We have Heidi Lynn Diaz. Yumir Marshall was a product of Batang Pinoy. Carlo Paalam was a product of Batang Pinoy. The Philippine National Games, lahat po, and uh, 90% of the national teams are product of our Philippine National Games. So yun po yung, yun po yung sinasabi namin that uh, 50% of our resources in grassroots development, 50% of uh, high performance, doon po mo makikita yung spectrum of involvement ng Philippine Sports Commission. Now for our elite sports, how do PSC uh, provide uh, support? Obviously, ang athletes' monthly allowance, um, my meal allowance din po for those who are, uh, you know, uh, staying sa dormitory, um, National Athletes Canteen. At the moment po, we don't house the athletes, so medyo temporarily close po to. We have our uh, High Performance Training Center, which is located in field sports. Uh, we have modern sports science equipment po nandun. Obviously, hindi pa po natin fully na pa-function yun kasi na inabutan po tayo ng pandemic. And financial assistance in funding yung training exposure competitions ng ating different athletes and equipment. So all of this, uh, elite sports, uh, medical assistance, is part of the mandate of the Philippine Sports Commission sa RA6847. And even if this is highlighted in the Philippine Constitution sa so Section 19, Article uh, Section 14, Article 19 ng Philippine Constitution, which is sinasabi, including training for international competition. So nandum po yan sa Constitution. Kung tatanggalin naman natin yung RA6847, kung wala yun, meron pa rin yan sa Constitution sa Philippine Constitution. So this is one of the most, one of the important functions or mandate po ng PSC. So we provided this privileges to our athletes. So sports achievement, obviously, uh, Heidi Lynn Diaz, she won the silver, yung sa Rio. Uh, I think that was the, the 53 kilogram class nung sa Olympic Games ng 2016. So 2016 po, uh, benaman na po natin si Heidi Lynn Diaz at the start of that uh, cycle po. Obviously, uh, this was uh, highlighted by our success uh, sa 2018 Asian Games uh, where we won, uh, you know, four golds courtesy of Heidi Lynn Diaz, skateboarder si Margie Didal, and golfers you kasaso for individual event and sa team event naman kasama niya rin si Bianca and si Luisco so a total uh, the country took home two silver and 15 bronze medal so i i think this put uh, the philippines ito na yung start na pag-angat ng philippine sports uh, a lot of people kasi they, 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 they thought that uh, yung Olympics uh, this time was just a one-off. But we actually started with uh, High Lily Diaz in 2016 and 2018 uh, Asian Games. And uh, who could not forget yung 2019 SEA Games, uh, ang ating chairman po, si Chairman Butch Ramirez, was the chef de mission. And during our host, uh, we hosted them. Uh, we hosted the the Sea Games at uh, tayo po ay once again naging uh, overall champion. The last time we were overall champion, incidentally, si Chairman Ramirez po yung chairman ng PSC. At the same time, siya din po yung chef de mission. Ah no, oh siya din chairman ng PSC. So it, it was it was an upward trend ng Philippine sports. And it is culminated by, uh, it was culminated by obviously, kagaling lang po natin doon, yung Tokyo 2020 Olympics. 
So we won our first gold medal in the history of the modern Olympics after 97 years. Uh, and then it was added, um, you know, we had a medal rush. I think that broke the ice for Philippine sports. That inspired our athletes. So obviously our boxers uh, was actually a, not a surprise. Uh, our boxers were performing well. Uh, historically, uh, our boxers provided lots of medals during previous Olympics and um, dinagdagad po ng ating boxers ng two silver and one bronze. So th this this was the highest medal haul ng Philippine uh, ng team Philippines in the history. Uh, it also I I want to put emphasis also that we are number one sa Southeast Asia sa ating medal standings. We natalo po natin ng Thailand and Indonesia. So tayo po yung number one sa, sa Southeast Asia and we, we actually also placed number 10 sa Asian countries who won uh, medals po sa Olympics. And I, I want to put emphasis dito sa 19 Olympians. Uh, we never had, we always say we never had this uh, athletes in Olympics na ganito kalakas. Here we have athletes who are world champions, athletes that are ranked sa, sa world. Previously, and I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, hindi ko naman, I don't look down on the previous participants ng Olympics, but uh, previously, mostly when we go to Olympics, we just go there to participate. I think this, uh, this time's Olympics natin, we came in to really perform and uh, this 19 athletes, and I uh, also want to add to that uh, and, and other 90 plus athletes who were trying to, who narrowly missed or who just missed their qualifications Olympics. So this has been the most stacked uh, athlete spot sa Olympics. And we're just, ako, uh, personally, I'm, I'm excited to look at Paris, imagine EJ, imagine Kaloy, imagine our boxers, uh, imagine all the other athletes who missed the qualification. They, were, they will be back and they will be able to qualify at 2024 Olympics. So I can see, again, an upward trend sa ating performance internationally. Next slide. So we are moving forward. We are looking to, again, partner with, uh, sit down with the Philippine Olympic Committee, with the National Sports Association. And isasama na po natin yung private sectors on crafting framework on how do we, uh, you know, we, how can we work with each other to further improve the Philippine sports system. Despite the ongoing pandemic, Obviously, the PSC commits to continue its mandate to produce uh, world-class Filipino athletes. So, yun po yung magiging direction ng Philippine Sports Commission. Once again, as our mandate, we will be, you know, uh, leading this policy direction spot. Okay, so ito po yung video natin. Yeah, I think we have a sound for you. Okay, so yun po, uh, nakasab nakalagay doon, it takes a nation to fulfill a dream. And I think it also takes a nation to sustain that dream. So yun po, uh, sports for a better Filipino and for a better Philippines. Maraming salamat po. Magandang hapon.
Maraming maraming salamat po uh, Sir Mark Velasco for the very very insightful tsaka, uh, ano po eh, a very informative lecture uh, all about the, Pil- the Philippine Sports Commission and Philippine sports in general. Sir Mark, allow me to give a few highlights of the uh, of your lecture. Binanggit po sa atin ni Sir Mark kung ano po ang purpose of the PSD being created through the Republic Act number no. 6847 as the sole policy-making and coordinating body of all amateur sports development in the country. And uh, we mentioned din po ni Sir that the, the PSC, no, uh, as, as a commission, with a vision of, of with a unified sports program that will enhance yung quality po of life of the Filipinos through sports and siyempre instill national pride and attain international prestige to excellent in sports. And the mission of the PSC as well is to serve as a prime catalyst and advocate the propagation and development of Philippine sports. Um, you mentioned din po ni Sir Mark that the, the, the PSC's legal mandate, you know, the sole ba- policy making, mahalaga po yun eh, for everyone to understand that uh, the PSC is the sole policy making and coordinating body. And syempre, it provides leadership, formulate policies, and set priorities and directions of all national sports promotion. I uh, just want to reiterate as well and re-emphasize ang sinabi po ni Sir Mark on clarifying uh, the different sectors po of sports that includes the PSC, uh, the government body po, uh, the, uh, the Philippine Olympic Committee, uh, and the National Sports Associations as private entities. Magkaiba po yun. Ano? I hope everyone is clear on that. And uh, syempre, uh, the PSC being the government body reports to the Office of the President and uh, with, with POC uh, reporting to their international Olympic committees and syempre with the NSAs reporting to their international federations. Uh, Sir Mark Velasco also highlighted uh, on the pyramid, uh, pyramidal structure kung inyo pong yung ay naabutan at uh, that uh, the PSC clearly supports no, yung half of it, the majority of it goes to our grassroots sports uh, with the support on elite sports on the top. And uh, syempre, uh, with partnerships as well on collegiate sports, uh, syempre we had uh, on a few uh, few occasions, no? kasama po natin ng mga previous sessions, uh, the DepEd giving their lectures as well, also with CHED, so, and, uh, and so on. Uh, ang policy direction po ng PSC uh, uh, circulates on six uh, directions, mainly ang ating sports governance and uh, sports awareness, sports accessibility, sports facilities development, sports linkages, kagaya po ng minensyon ni Sir Mark, that uh, one of the programs of the PSC, the Children's Games, no, a flagship program, was uh, uh, linked no, and was uh, commended by the UNESCO as a, as a tool for uh, peace, as a, as a tool for sports peace and development. And lastly, yung institutionalization of the Philippine Sports Institute uh, our guest speaker also highlighted ang mga grassroots sports programs ng Philippine Sports Commission that includes the Children's Games, uh, the uh, PSC Indigenous People's Games, uh, we have Women in Sports, uh, Pilipinas Para Games, and syempre yung mga programs natin like Batang Pinoy and Philippine National Games. You also have Larot Saya sa Parque. I think may mga participants din tayo niyan dito no? uh, before we had the pandemic. And uh, cla- Sir Mark also clarified uh, kung ano po ang binabahagi ng nasuporta ng PSC on our elite sports and that includes our athletes' monthly allowances, mean allowance, dormitory. We have great improvements po, especially on their dormitory, if you, as you can see, sa Rizal Memorial Coliseum and syempre sa Field Sports Complex, sa Ultra po yan. And syempre, our National Athletes Canteen was also developed High Performance Training Center and uh Financial assistance to fund training, exposure and competitions, training equipment, uh, training and competition uniforms, and medical assistance. And uh, to, to highlight po, no, uh, sinabi ni Sir Mark na to wrap it all up, patuloy po ang pag-progress ng Philippine Sports Commission with our with the recent success, no, taking lead uh, sa mga uh, competitions po, no, internationally. And uh, sabi nga ni Sir, I, I like what he said na hindi lang po, uh, nag, uh, hindi lang po biglang naggumising uh, yung ating uh, sports excellence with the recent Olympics. Noon pa po with our previous years, no, pinaghandaan po ito ng PSC and uh, we have shown uh, that there is growth and progress. 
And uh, syempre yung ultimate prize nga nun, us winning our first Olympic uh, gold medal courtesy ng ating uh, uh, historic na to, no? uh, a future Philippine Hall of Famer, si Ms. Heidelin Diaz. There you have it. And uh, uh, you can raise your hand and tatawagin ko po kayo uh, to ask, to personally ask ang ating uh, Chief of Staff and National Training Director uh, for a question or reaction, whatever that may be. So kung kayo po ay may katanungan, please do uh, uh, click ang itong raise hand button. And you can also do as well, kung ayaw niyo po ng live question, you can also send in right now to any of our facilitators, one and two, sa atin pong chat box. And syempre, we will read through your questions as well. Mukhang, uh, mukhang napapaisip sila, sir. Iniisip pa nila kung ano yung mga tatanungin nila sa inyo. Eh. Uh, ito po, uh, mahalaga pong katanungan, sir. Uh, sige. Ang question po is, what is the difference again po between the PSC and POC on our role with our Olympians? Yung sa role naman po specifically sa Olympians. Ano po ang nagkaiba nun, sir? Okay. Ang, ang athlete talaga is uh, trained by their NSAs. And when it comes to Olympics, the NSA would try to get his his or her athlete to qualify for the Olympics. So once the qualification, yan, um, the Philippine Olympic Committee would then, uh, dahil Olympics to, sila na ngayon mag-bibit-bit uh, or mag endorse yan sa Olympic co- Committee or Organizing Committee that these are our participants. And through the chef demission, si chef demission po yung gumagawa niyan. At uh, sa PSC po, PSC, when it comes to that, would just only provide support. Anong kailangan nila? Uh, may it be gastos during Olympics, uh, logistical needs kung kinakailangan. Pero nung training ng mga athletes, yung athletes trying to qualify, the PSC, again, would provide support financially uh, sa mga NSAs po natin. So basically, uh, current setup ng Philippine Sports Commission ngayon, uh, we are funding po yung training ng mga bata natin and even yung sa mga competitions natin. Mm-hmm. I hope that's clear no para sa atin po mga participants. Ito sir, uh, for clarification din, uh, what is the PSC's involvement dito naman po sa ating National Academy of Sports? Well, uh, the National Academy of Sports, by law, is under the Department of Education. Kasi the National Academy of Sports is an educational institution for athletically gifted na students. So the part po ng PSC is PSC is part of the board of directors. Uh, the chairman of the board of director ng National Academy for, for Sports is the secretary of the DepEd. Uh, meron din po doon nakalagay sa batas that the PSC will provide technical assistance pagdating naman po sa training and sports development ng bata. But overall, the National Academy of Sports is an educational institution. That's why po under siya ng Department of Education. So basically, it's Department of Education uh, office po yan. Mm-hmm. Sir, balikan ko lang yung first question kanina in relation uh, with the Olympians. Uh, ang atin pong 1996 Atlanta, Atlanta Olympic silver mm-hmm. medalist si Sir Onyok Velasco, one of our consultants as well before. Sir, sa PSI mm-hmm. is here watching. Hello, sir. Participating pala. Hello, Sir Onyok. Saludo um, po. Uh, Pinakagwapong uh, Velasco yan. <laughs> yeah. Ayan. Ito sir, may question interesting then. If you if you need to prioritize, what would be heavier in consideration? Grassroots or elite sports? Ayan, sir. I, I think uh, that would be uh, a difficult answer to prioritize because you don't prioritize one over the other or other. Kasi they, they, it's, it's, it's a pathway kasi so, yung pathway natin is sports excellence. Kung palalawakin natin yung daan ng grassroots tapos makitid yung 
yung uh, yung elite hindi rin po siya effective mm-hmm. so uh, we we cannot really take uh, prioritize mm-hmm. one over the other uh, that is why I, I was always emphasizing kanina that 50% of our resources is the grassroots. 50% of our resources po is elite sports. One needs the other. Uh, the other needs the other one. So, one po siya, part po siya ng isang pathway kasi hindi po siya pwedeng uh, i-differentiate. Uh, so to speak, kasi yung athlete development wala it's i don't know it's pre- very 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 rare or are outlier na uh, an individual with no athletic background would suddenly become would suddenly excel in a specific field so and then no uh, developing athlete would reach yung athletic excellence without going through the elite program so yun po mm-hmm. we need they need each other Mm-hmm. Yung triangle lang po yung kanina, nakita nyo, parang feeling nyo mas malaki yung, yung grassroots. Yun po yung amount of participation mm. ng individuals. Okay. I hope klaro po yun sa lahat ano, para wala tayong misunderstanding on that context. And, Mark, and don't, uh, sige, sorry, and, and don't, don't uh, wag nyo ihalo doon yung professional sports development kasi iba rin yun. Uh, we're we're only talking about national team development, so that that's a different conversation, so to speak. All right, okay, okay. noted, Jan, sir. Uh, sir, from Sara Zagala from LGU Tayaba City, sabi niya, can you, siguro in the PSC context, po, no, can the PSC provide uh, the mandate for local sports programs in adapting the PSC's national program? This is for us in the local sports development office to support our budget proposals with the mandate. I, alam nyo, uh, we have been trying to work with, uh, I think, uh, DLG and, and through our public consultation with local government. And incidentally, I had a chance to, uh, to have a, a long conversation with uh, Congressman D, ang Isabela, kasi siya po yung chairman ng uh, Committee on Youth and Sports, a lower house. Uh, we are really pushing for the one of the categories for uh, seal of good governance. And this has been emphasized by some of my friends as sports. Uh, one of the, the, the qualities or one of the categories or one of the, the requirements for seal of good governance is a, a, a sports program para po may include talaga ng programa ng local government yung sports program so if we will be able to push that I think I think that would be easier for for uh, the local governments to really include yung sports program nila as criteria to receive uh, the award for seal of good governance so uh, we're trying we're working on that hopefully that will be realized soon uh, kasi pag meron na yan uh, no choice talaga local government but to include yung sports program Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, ito naman, sir. Uh, timely question then with the pandemic. Uh, with the PSC being part of the tripartite agreement uh, on the joint administrative order of IATF in sports, ano po yung thoughts nyo, sir, and dun sa mga YouTube vloggers na nag-violate ng IATF mm-hmm. protocols in conducting sports and physical activities ngayong time po ng pandemic? Well, uh, just to be clear, no, yung the JAW the job was crafted uh, with the with yung coverage was for the national athletes, uh, which is under the National Sports Association. Yung sa professional naman under their professional. And then, um, do kami naka-focus at the moment, we, we really want to try to not regulate, but we try to give uh, directions or guidelines for them. Now, for the YouTube bloggers, I, I think I saw some of them. Nagsasapakan pa nga <laughs> So, uh, there is kasi a provision. There is a, a memo issued by the, the Department of Health that uh, the, it's up to the local government to really uh, 
allow this kind of activities or sports activities in their locality. So, ang final uh, accountable po niyan yung local government which allows these types of activity sa kanilang locality. So, I think uh, obviously uh, for example, merong violation sa isang lugar. Obviously, PSC cannot enforce kasi wala naman kaming we don't have police powers. We only provide guidelines and direction. Yung may police powers po is the local government. Sila po yung implement At pag hindi po covered ng saklaw ng Philippine Sports Commission yung, yung according sa JAW na finormulate which is only limited to the, nas the national athletes and professional athletes, uh, it is the local government po uh, who has the accountability. Kasi Sila po yung nag-aalaw ng mga ganong activities eh. So, nandun po yan sa, I think it is in the memorandum circular ng Department of Health. I forgot the number. I, I have to go back. Na, uh, sa anything na hindi sa Klaus sa Jow, uh, local government po yung may final say to allow it and sila po yung may accountability. Mm -hmm. I hope that's clear on everyone. Ito, sir, magandang katanungan po from uh, Jay Morales of the LSU. Given that the current administration is nearing its end, how could the PSC ensure that the existing measures and everything that the sports sector have accomplished so far would be continuous? Yan, yan muna, sir. May follow-up question. <laughs> I cannot guarantee because <laughs> we don't know what the next administration would do. What we would do, the PSC, is that we would create yung uh, uh, framework or yung guidebook kasi we cannot dictate upon the next batch of board of commissioners or next batch of board of the, the board ng PSC. We cannot dictate to them na ito yung gagawin nyo. Mm -hmm. But with that uh, framework and policy that we have formulated that we are going to turn over to the next board of commissioners or board ng PSC, we have the achievements and the results to back yung, mga, yung policies po doon. And I believe that uh, the way that we accomplish, I mean, the Olympics is a small part of achieve, of what the Philippine Sports has achieved, uh, Sports Commission has achieved. Uh, it's, uh, you know, we have programs that have been successful especially sa grassroots natin. Uh, we have, we cannot say we're perfect. Uh, we are never perfect. We also have our shortcomings. But we, I think we believe that if not for the pandemic, we have reached, we could have reached more uh, mm -hmm. people sa, sa, sa programs natin. So, yun, hindi ko ma, I cannot assure that it's still up to the next board to mm -hmm. determine that. Siguro, sir, yun yung part power of... ng board eh. Yun yung power ng yeah. board eh. Yeah. Siguro sir, part of the solution din as well is ito, ito, ito mismo programa natin sa National Sports Summit dahil when we had our, uh, as mentioned by Ms. Abby po no, on our uh, previous session, last session 24, uh, yung, uh, yung Philippine Sports Institute was a product of yung mga pag pagbuo ng insights from the very first summit dun sa Baguio in a few years, few three Yo, decades. Imagine that there. was like uh, almost 30 years. So mm -hmm. th this is very important for us. And I think this would this would provide us with a solid data for the next board to look at and mm -hmm. to re realize that, you know, maybe not all of it, but uh, some of the programs has been very, very successful. And it is noteworthy to mm -hmm. continue po yun. Mm -hmm. Follow-up question ni Jay, sir, from that uh, question. Uh, as a follow-up, is there any target number or projection of athletes that the PSC plans to send for the next Olympics? Uh, we cannot answer that, but uh, we are hoping we have more. We have more athletes, so we cannot answer that. We have to work with, our, with the NSAs and the Philippine Olympic Committee on that. But we are, I think with the success we have with the Olympics, I, I, I believe our, our lawmakers who decides on the budget, the, 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 our government offices who decides on the budget or the resources of PSC, I, I hope na madagdagan po and I hope na ma, 
mas mapalawak po natin yung suporta natin. Not only for the elite sports, but also for the grassroots. Mm-hmm. Sir, another question from uh, Raymond Lyon from uh, PSC Cebu. Sabi niya po, uh, may kakayahan ba ang PSC na mag-grab or mag-support sa isang atleta na nag-qualify ng international games ngunit hindi siya na-acknowledge sa kanilang NSA? Uh, pakiulit, pakiulit. Ito sir. Uh, may kakayahan daw po ba uh, yung PSC to support an athlete na nakapag-qualify to an international game pero hindi siya acknowledge ng kanyang National Sports Association? Uh, we really have to categorize ano yung international game. Kasi when we say international games, marami pong international games. Uh, uh, meron ding international games na sanction ng IF. Uh, meron ding international games na hindi naman sanction ng IF. Now, on that part, uh, if I, I, and I believe that uh, the NSA, if they see a talent that is very successful, I don't see the reason that they would not recognize that uh, athlete. You know? uh, if they, they would not recognize that athlete, then it is something underlying that uh, mm-hmm. the PSC has no power over it. Mm-hmm. Uh, in, the, in terms of providing support sa that specific athlete, it's entirely up to the board uh, of PSC to provide support or not. But uh, I don't see the, the reason why uh, a specific uh, athlete would not uh, ask assistance from the, from the NSA na, na for that specific sports. Uh, alam mo, I, I know, I din naman tayo uh, blind sa mga conflicts, but I, I think there's nothing that we can sit down and, uh, and uh-huh. uh, talk and resolve po. So, I, I think the, the NSA would be able to recognize what the athlete is uh, sa mga ganong bagay. Ayan. Alright, there we go. Uh, from Renaldo Reyes, Good afternoon, Sir Mark. As you have previously mentioned that the PSE is just an agency under the Office of the President, is there a legislative move to make the PSC a department in government because this will mean more regulating power for PSC and greater budget allocation? Thank you po. Ah, uh, si kaibigan po natin yan, si Sir Reyes sa PBF. Sir, good afternoon po. Yeah, alam mo, there has been, uh, even as early as 2016, there has been a lot of uh, proposal on that to really make the Philippine Sports Commission as a department. Uh, that's one of our legislative agenda. And the power really is bestowed on the, the Congress, both the lower house and the Senate, to really make that uh, happen. Uh, as of now, naman kami, you know, regardless if we are a department or not, we are functioning. But yes, uh, tama po sabi ni Sir Reynaldo Reyes na magiging mas advantageous po sa, sa, sa kung magiging isang department of sport po ang isang head sa basically uh, mag- magkakaroon po siya ng seat sa cabinet level magkakaroon mm-hmm. po siya ng budget sa mas malaking budget and uh, tama po tama po at uh, talaga meron pong nagpo-push niyan and uh, kami po naman kung ano po yung wisdom ng ating lawmakers ay eh, susuportahan na naman po natin. Mm-hmm. I think uh, that uh, yun yung kailang mga kailangan nating abangan no, as a sport community uh, and also uh, mga sports enthusiasts po tayong kasama ngayon. Sir Mark, uh, from, uh, from from Jerlu Flores from of UP Diliman, magkakaroon po ba ng boxing sa tertiary schools lalo na for UAP and NCAA schools or other leagues Kasi alam ko maraming atleta na gustong magka-scholarship, lalo na sa mga hirap sa buhay. Not only boxing but other sports. Ito pa ang kanyang question. Paano magkakaroon ng scholarship program yung PSC para dito? Um, actually, wala namang... Wala sa mandate ng PSC to provide scholarship. Kasi we, we cannot dictate on the 
the schools no on how they provide their scholarship i think uh meron pong but i'm not sure if there's a law on that but i think uh based on our conversation with Chad um i think even up to now if correct if i'm not wrong even up to now hindi po pwedeng tanggalin ang scholarship ng isang atleta uh even during time of the pandemic but i know uh at the start of the if the start ng college ng university wala po silang i think na recruit na bagong atleta kasi basically po they are not sure whether there would be at athletic event po sa tertiary sports wala po wala pong power ang PSC mag scholarship ang uh, what we, what we have are we, we we have provided po is yung yung diploma courses what and then we're working on that diploma courses for our sports practitioners but for specific scholarship ng ng isang atleta that that, that power belongs to commission on higher education eh mm -hmm. and i want to touch on the boxing uh, kasi pinag-usapan yan sa isang sports program just recently uh magkakaroon ng boxing sa university it's still up again we we defer that decision to uh Chad, if they deem uh, see it na safe po uh, it's been done sa younger uh, 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 younger competitions like batang pinoy but i don't see i don't see any hindrance bakit po hindi magkaroon ng boxing sa tertiary level but i i, I do see po yung concern din ng ng uh, ng school officials on that and we, we do recognize that it is up to them to really determine if they can be able to have that type of, of event sa kanila pong mga uh, palaro sa, sa, or sa, sa program po ng mga school associations. So, mm -hmm. yun po. <laughs> alright, alright. That's clear. And uh, so, ito may katanungan po. Uh, does the PSC have an after program or retirement program para po dun sa mga national athletes natin? At the moment, I think that is being formulated by our team po sa, sa Philippine Sports Institute, uh, yung educational uh, team po ng Philippine Sports Institute. I know previously, just like I mentioned, yung, yung PIS pa that time, Philippine Institute of Sports, noong 2000-2008, we did provide yung education ng ating coaches and athletes. And unfortunately, uh, yung success rate medyo mababa. I'm not saying hindi naging successful, but I think yung participation rate at the time was very low. And mm -hmm. nagkaroon po ng change of administration, so hindi po napatuloy yung program. But that's one part of of uh, the Philippine Sports Institute is looking at really to provide yung capacity building ng mga athletes natin to have uh, something to do after their career. And I know the, the Philippine Olympic Committee also through their Athletes Commission is also doing uh, a similar program uh, on how mm -hmm. they would uh, give uh, a, another life po sa about to retire ng mga athletes po natin. Mm -hmm. So, we are working on that po. Mm -hmm. Eto, sir, I think this would be our last question for our open forum. Uh, the NSS phase one, sir, is about to close, uh, but we have gotten used to having it as our source of additional info every Wednesday uh, since January 27. Uh, sir, ang question, would there be any project in its place, sir, habang... The, P, uh, the NSS goes through data processing. Do we have plans? Uh, I, I, I think we had a glimpse of that when we had the uh, sports for all law. Mm -hmm. I, I think that uh, through, your, through the data that you are going to submit sa ating secretariat, we will be able to see that. And I think that that, that is very successful. Maybe we, we can see, we can break down different uh, topics po para po may papatuloy po natin na uh, participation ng ating mga uh, yung mga nandito po ngayon and we we do recognize we do recognize po na uh, during the time of the of pandemic of uh, online uh, education ang laking bagay po nitong 
NSS on a weekly basis. So nagpapasalamat po kami sa participation ninyo. And uh, definitely, we will be, uh, through your suggestions, uh, overwhelming response, uh, I, I think hindi po mahirap gumawa ng medyo uh, a more digestible uh, education program for or you know ma maliliit na seminar po like like yung sa sports law for all po so i think Josh uh, mapapasubo ka ulit for <laughs> after this last phase na to after this first <laughs> first phase so yeah we're, we're asking for your for your uh, response and mm -hmm. definitely we will uh, we will look into it and actually right now i can tell na marami pong gustong magpatuloy ng something like this po in the next coming weeks all right sir it all super last na may humabol po tayong katanungan last na sir i think it's an interesting question then uh, for new developments sa sports uh, from reynante pili uh, good afternoon po does psc have a plan to include esports under its jurisdiction that would be our last question sir I think esports is part of the association that is recognized ng Philippine Olympic Committee. We had esports po noong Southeast Asian Games. Uh, Pinubayan po natin ng support. It's just that uh, I think particularly with the esports, wala po silang yung yung the 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 sila yung parang normal na athletes that would come in every day and train. Although they do their sport almost every day, they it's just that I think there's too many good athletes, uh, e-athletes natin at the moment. And I think coming into, a, let's say, major competition like uh, Southeast Asian Games, siguro a few months before, that's the time they, they, they would put a national team. So, nasusuportaan naman po natin yan. Even yung, the first uh, experience we had supporting the esports was at the Asian Indoor uh, games sa uh, I think Kazakhstan mm -hmm. yung first Asian indoor martial arts games meron pong e-sport doon when they then they formed the national team saka po tayo nagbigay ng support sa kanila mm -hmm. so I think that's e-sports when they try to form the national team that's the time that PSC can give them yung mga privileges that they would need po all right, there you have it. Maraming maraming salamat na sa ating pong uh, speaker for our session 25 of the National Sports Summit. And uh, bago po tayo magtapos, uh, we will play a very, very short video. And syempre, uh, we are happy uh, na to, to show to everyone. No? Allow me, I'm requesting everyone to turn your attention to our screen as we will be having uh, an inspirational message from our chairman himself, Chairman Butch Ramirez, for our National Sports Summit. Hello everyone, a pleasant day to all of you and welcome to the last session of the first phase of the National Sports Summit 2021. Let me start by thanking all of you, our sports leaders, our local sports executives, sports educators, trainers, athletes, and coaches for responding to the call for a comprehensive and unified policy and program for Philippine sports. I can truly say that it has been a fun and fulfilling journey since the National Sports Summit rebirth last January 27. We have reached different demographics, completed 25 sessions from batch one to six, and had over 10,000 participants from all over Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao. If there is one thing I learned from this program, it is that we cannot do it alone. As I have mentioned in our session one, our mission does not start and end in forming policies alone. The more important part is what we look forward to how we can act on the challenges that face us as a community 
and how we implement measures that we think should be done together. Our job is not yet done. We hope that from this series of sessions, we could forge new resolutions in our second and third phases and ultimately craft a feasible roadmap to a better Philippine sports landscape. It is deep gratitude that I thank all of you in taking part in the first phase of the National Sports Summit. Maraming salamat po. There you have it. That was our chairman, Chairman William Butch Ramirez, uh, delivering uh, his uh, closing message. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, everyone. We will be playing a short compilation video dito po uh, before we leave. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe and God bless.